Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're going to be talking about geometric series. Geometric series are some of the most fun series in Calc 2. Fun in quotation marks. But the reason why they're fun is because they're some of the only series that we can actually find the sum of. In other words, when we look at series, it's always like 1 plus 1 half plus 1 fourth plus 1 eighth plus dot dot dot. And most of the time when we do have series, we can only tell if they converge or diverge. We can't tell what the actual sum is or what it converges to. But geometric series is one of the only two types of series we can do that for. The second kind is telescoping series, which we'll cover in a later video. So let's get started by looking at what form geometric series are always in. Geometric series will always be in the form n equals zero to infinity. And this is the only type of series, I believe, where the starting point really matters. n equals zero to infinity, and the form is a times r to the nth power. What I want you to pay attention to is the a and the r are things that we're gonna be solving for, but there's only n showing up in the exponent. There's no n in the base or anywhere else. By the way, we also do have a version of geometric series that do start at one but the form looks slightly different. It looks like a times r to the n minus one. And I would recommend having these two forms memorized. But the key here is that in order to converge or diverge, we are looking at the absolute value of r, meaning I don't care if it's positive or negative. And if the absolute value of r is less than one, then we say it converges. And if it converges, you can even find its sum. If the absolute value of r is greater than or equal to 1, then we say it diverges, and then you don't find the sum because the sum is like infinity or negative infinity. And if you do want to find the sum, then here's the formula. Sum equals a over 1 minus r. Two things I want to say about this. a is the first term in the series. And whenever you have a negative r, like let's just say r equals negative 1 half, then that will be plus because it's a double negative in the denominator. Now, before we look at some examples of this, let's just see how we can tell if a series is geometric or not if we write out the first few terms. Like, for instance, how can I tell if this series is geometric or not? It's easy. You just take any term, like this one, and divide it by the term before it, and you should get the same number every time. Let me actually show you now in action. If I do the second term divided by the first term, 1 half over 1 is 1 half. If I do these two terms, then it's 1 fourth divided by 1 half. That's a complex fraction, which means I multiply by the reciprocal, 2 over 1. Again, I get 1 half. And you can try with 1 fourth and 1 eighth. But as you can see, the result is going to be the same. We're always going to get 1 half. You can also see that just by saying times 1 half, times 1 half, times 1 half. Maybe that's an easier way for you to visualize it. Regardless, we're multiplying by 1 half each time. That makes r the 1 half value. That's where r comes from. And a is just the first term. So in this case, it's 1. And I don't even need a series to prove that. But now if I want to turn this into a series, I can write a series from n equals 0 to infinity of a times r to the n. So in other words, n equals 0 to infinity of 1 times 1 half to the n. And there we go. You can also do this in the n equals 1 starting position. If you want to do that instead, the series would look like this, just with an n minus 1 in the exponent. And honestly, I don't even have to write the one here for either case because it's not important. And so either of these are right. I don't care. Your professor or teacher will accept both. So that's all I have to say about that. Now let's look at some example problems. I want you to tell me if the following series converge or diverge. If they do converge, I want you to find the sum. So this first one, n equals zero to infinity of nine times two thirds to the n. Go ahead, give this a try. If you're stuck, just watch the video and you'll see the solution. So here's what I'm gonna say. For this one, a is nine, 
r is two thirds. So the absolute value of r, two thirds, is less than one. Great, then that means we are converging. And if I wanna find the sum now, the sum is equal to a divided by one minus r. So it's gonna be nine over one minus two thirds, which is nine over one third. Now that's a complex fraction, so make sure you multiply by the reciprocal and that will get us a sum of 27. And that's the sum for the series. Great. That's it for the first one. Now for the second one, I have the series from n equals one to infinity of negative one to the n minus one times three to the n minus one. So if you're stuck on this one, I'm gonna help you. First of all, I see I'm starting at one, which means the fact that I have the n minus one form is good, but I have two different terms here. Whenever I have two different terms with n in it, I need to combine them for geometric series. Luckily, whenever the exponents are the same, I can combine them. This will be negative one times three, or negative three, to the n minus one power. And now I can say a is the thing in front, which is the invisible one, and r is negative three. The absolute value of r is going to be greater than or equal to one, which means this diverges, and that's all we have to say for that one. And then one more example we'll look at today. It is the hardest one. The series from n equals zero to infinity of three to the n minus one over six to the n plus one. We know that we want the form three to the n over six to the n. We, we need this. We don't have that though. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna break it up so that I have it. In other words, three to the n times three to the negative one, properties of exponents, divided by six to the n times six to the first. And what this is gonna look like is three over six all to the n, I group them together because they have the same exponent now, and then times three to the negative one over six. Negative exponent means it's really in the denominator, so it's like one over three times six, or one over 18. And so this series is really the series from n equals zero to infinity of 1 18th times three over six, which is one half to the nth power. And now I say r equals one half, a is one over 18, one half is less than one, which means we are converging because it's a geometric series and I can find the sum. So this sum is pretty challenging to find. So let me show you. Sum is one over 18 divided by one minus one half. This will be one over 18 divided by one half multiplied by the reciprocal. So it's one over 18 times two over one. Final answer, one ninth, and there's our sum. So that's it. That's everything I wanna say on geometric series. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments section. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.